Well, it was a busy weekend for sports books during Super Bowl 57. Kel and Sidney Thorson heads out to Deadwood to see how the big event impacted casinos in town. Every seat in the Tim Lizzie Sportsbook was filled during this year's Super Bowl. A lot of people are uh, very excited about the game. Um, we, we far exceeded our expectations in-house, and I think the same for Deadwood. Um, there's just a lot of people in the area, and um, great to have a, a big event on a Sunday in the middle of February. Deadwood Mountain Grand was also very happy with this year's turnout for the big event. Couldn't be more proud of our staff. A lot of people were working um, long 12, 13, 14 hour shifts on, on Mardi Gras, turning around and doing it all over again. Uh, and the numbers were just outstanding for us. Uh, yeah, we're excited. Not only was it a busy Sunday in Deadwood, but more than 50 million people across the country bet on this year's Super Bowl, racking up about $16 billion. That's more than twice as many as last year, according to the American Gaming Association. We, we can't control the outcome of these games. We just hope that we get a lot of people in here who enjoy, who enjoy betting and uh, hope that they have a lot of fun. Now that the Super Bowl is over, casinos here in Deadwood say they are already looking forward to March Madness next month. Right after the Super Bowl, we shift gears immediately into college basketball, so we're going to have conference tournaments, we're going to have March Madness, something always exciting to happen at Tim Lizzie Game Resort, so we're just right on to the next thing. In Deadwood, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. This is the second year sports wagering was allowed in Deadwood for the Super Bowl game.